So if I do that, yeah. So if I compete against the heavyweight, I need to make it look bigger. So what I do, I transition that way. So that look bigger than this one. It looks smaller. You should get arrested for that. <laughs> so all these little tricks. So when I pose like that, I look. It looks more long and big. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Conversation with myself, Francis Cole. Uh, I've been away for a while. Um, in my absence, I've been working out, <laughs> as you can see, and I collected all of these with me. <laughs> well done, Francis. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> you all were working, so it all counts. It all counts. Pubs, yeah. what am I looking at here? What are they looking at here? What uh, are we all looking at here, Pops? An achievement um, for she, what, for 10 years? 10 years. 10 years. That's a decade, ladies and gentlemen, if you don't know what yeah. 10 years is. Decade. Yeah. Judna, what's 365 times 10? 3,650. I should know that. Just add, yeah. add zeros, isn't it? The zeros, yeah. Huh? <laughs> Sorry, I, I'm just, I'm, I'm, you know, when you train too much, you know, you, it was 3,000, 3,600 and... 50 days of uh, hard work. Hard work, yeah. We've known each other for a very, very long time, perhaps. One yeah. thing I have to say about you, you don't take no days off. No. no. You train throughout, season yeah. in, season this out. Season, yeah. Um, every time I win a trophy or I'll be placed second, I go back and train again, even harder. We prove, go back again, train again. So every, every year, the, you know, the motivation gets even more, more. It pushed me even more. How, how so the more I lose, the more I want it. The more you lose, the more you want it. Yes. The more he loses, the more he wants it. Yeah. I to, I, I'm still mesmerized by all of this. Even though, and this is not even half of it, ladies and gentlemen. This is what we could just fit in for the set. We trained together years ago. Yes. Years ago. <laughs> and I remember we done a back session. Yeah. And... um we done three exercises, so we. I remember the. I remember this session very well. We done three. I, I even. I just remember you sent me the old pictures. I'm yeah, like, you well, said, I remember. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So we done three exercises. The first exercise was lap pull downs. Yeah, mm -hmm. um, wide grip. Mm -hmm. We done four sets of twelve. Mm -hmm. Right. Mm -hmm. Then we went and done um, bend off a rose. Yeah. Four sets of twelve on each arm. Mm -hmm. And then what did we do? I think we did. A close okay, grip, close, close grip, grip, pull yeah, down, there, yeah. three sets of 12. Mm -hmm. And then I'm like, oh, like, and he said, yeah, that's a warm up. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, that was before the actual session. <laughs> that was a warm up. That that's was my, that was my warm up. Yeah. And I enjoyed that session so much. I never came again. Never again. <laughs> <laughs> so you probably was so for like maybe it, your warm up it. alone. And I remember when we started the session. Mm -hmm. um, so the actual session started after the warm up. Yeah. Um, you you always do four sets. Most people mm. do three three yeah. sets of twelve yeah, or whatever. Yeah. You do yeah. four sets. Yeah. And then I couldn't do any. So I just did one set of each, and mm. I was finished, perhaps. Mm -hmm. And to you, that's just, just another day in in the gym. In so the gym, yeah. Um, thank you for that. You know, you, <laughs> you, you broke up. my back. I never <laughs> trained again. <laughs> <laughs> I, I guess I didn't want it bad enough, but I got you back. We went, tr we went running, we yeah. went running once, and yeah, 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 you never came back. No, the reason why I didn't come back because I'm a sprinter. I'm not a long distance runner. You can run for long, but I, for me, it's not for me. You want to sprint? I'm, I'm yeah, good. Yeah, no, I, I'm. I, I don't do sprint. I, yeah. I take my time. It's just yeah. slow pace, you know. What, yeah, what, no. What's that saying? The the slow something there's a saying about a, uh, no nah, there's none there is a there is a saying about the turtle Francis. jb what's the saying <laughs> there you go slow and steady wins the race okay yeah that, that that's that's not true that's why the car walks slow and it's still yeah <laughs> well look slow pace is good um but for me i like uh, you know because i train a lot i like to engage my muscle a lot yeah that's why I love sprinting because when you sprint, you engage your core, you engage your upper body, you, you engage your glutes, your quads, your calves. But slow pace, there's only certain muscle, you know, it gets involved. So 
Yeah, well, this is why I build up her. I, I, got, I got muscle too, just they're protected, they're very well protected. I know, and winter's coming, so you're good. So there you go, there, there you go. Do you know what I always say to you, Pops? If aliens was to ever come down on planet Earth yeah. and start eating people, you'd be one of the first to be eaten <laughs> because you'd be like prime reef steak right there. They were like, yeah. no, they don't want no fatty. So, yeah, yeah. So, Pops, what, <laughs> explain to people what you do because... I don't even know where to start. Yeah, well, um, I'm a natural bodybuilder. Natural bodybuilder. Let's yeah. emphasize natural bodybuilder. Natural, so I'm not into other stuff, you know, that, that give you that answer you to grow bigger or to, you know, to look bigger. So I've been doing it for more than like 12 years now. How did I start it? Um, I've done judo for 10 years. Mm. I've done judo for 10 years and I had an injury. I had a knee injury doing judo. We were, we, was, um, we were preparing for a competition and I was out for like six months. Went to the doctor, got to the physio. Um, I wasn't really happy with the program, you know, the physio, the quite slow pace, do this, do that. So I ended up going in, in the gym. So I used to do judo in Wilson Sports Centre. Northwest of London, for Northwest those who don't London. know where yeah, Wilson Sports yeah, Wilson Centre is. Northwest, yeah. So the, there used to be a gym in Wilson Sports Centre, which was... You know, you have to pay to go in, you know, you have to become a member. That time I was 16, so <laughs> I couldn't afford to do a monthly, you know, pay. So now and then I used to just just pay as you go, go in there. I used to train just my leg. So what then? I just, just legs? Yeah, just to strengthen my knee. And then from then, then I started, you know, before I used to do, you know, when you do judo, you need to be quite fit. So I used to do press-ups and all that. I, I was quite in shape, but. Then, you know, just focus on my knees, try to strengthen it, reading books, watching videos, YouTube videos. So I don't know if people know Kilburn. So Francis, that's that's where I met Francis. Kilburn, actually. Yeah. Black Star, <laughs> yeah. at a barber shop. That's another story. <laughs> so so but, just, um, just to cut you off, so Black, so we are, we are Black Star at a mm. barber shop. I first, I think I was about 12. Mm -hmm. I get a job in Blackstar with, with Bobby oh, yes. sweeping hair. <laughs> yeah. And Bobby never used to pay me. I, Bobby, you owe me money, Bobby. <laughs> Bobby owes me money. So yeah. I, I'm sweeping hair and I got to know Paps. And then um and then one time I got in trouble in 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 school. Uh and I couldn't um and these times I'm selling phones. Yeah. I don't remember from the yeah, yeah, for, yeah, yeah. selling yeah. phones. Yeah. And I got in trouble in school and then mm -hmm. um they had to call home. I'm like, please don't call home. Please don't call home. So they had to call home. So I said, look, my mum's at work, but when I get when I get home, hopefully she'll be there. We'll call me, whatever. The teacher goes, yeah, make sure you, you call whatever. My dad's at work. So I got to the barber shop around. I think it was about eight o'clock, and I got my phone. I said, pops, you need to call my teacher. You need to say, you need to say you're my dad. <laughs> <laughs> so, my dad. so ever yeah. since then, I was pops. calling pops. So that's, 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 <laughs> So for those who are wondering, why am I calling him Paps? That is, when I'm in trouble, that's my Paps. Yes. <laughs> yes. Yeah, sorry, go back to Kilburn, yes. Yeah. Um, but Francis, you've done well for yourself from that age. You know, you wasn't like any other youngster, you know, just be out there hanging in the corner. You always try to make something, you know, try to get something. Always you know? Paps. Oh, yeah. So uh, that's one thing that I'll give it to you. You know, Thank you. I'm still trying present. to make this body to be, to yeah. be like you. Yeah, I'm. I'm. Let's see. Jesus, it can go smaller than. So I'm. I'm a pro. It's diff That's the difference. I'm a pro now. Back in the day, I used to do it like you. Yeah. <laughs> 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 Till I become a professional bodybuilder, I can relax and I go this. You see, it's all the definitions. Which, which, which was East Pops? You <laughs> <laughs> see, even extend the bicep extend. You know. Look at the triceps, yeah. though. Yeah, that's, that's the you, you, now that's not that's not muscle. That's like the bingo wing. <laughs> you got bingo. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah. Then from there, I met a guy. He used to um, do his little things on the side. In those times, they used to do DVDs. So I, I know about DVDs. Yeah, DVDs. Yes, you know those times. And um, he had a magazine. So there's a a bodybuilding. Um, federation in Yorkshire and they've been doing it for, for a long time it's called NPA so Natural Physique Association so you you get tested you know um, you get tested and all these things and you know you you can't cheat basically and there's other people who tried it they got caught 
and uh, the trophies being taken away from them and they be publicized on the on the book like you know this person tried to cheat to cheat and yeah, yeah which is not good it's not good for you know a record uh, we had, we had a teacher <laughs> so someone who was teaching how to train was no no he's a juice. teacher in school oh in school but he was taking stuff but oh. he decided to ah, you know not your body building let me just go then just win a trophy but he got caught did um, he win the trophy he won the trophy but when they tested him it was positive have you ever gone up against uh, people who take substance oh yeah 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 that's that's down the story it was, okay. uh, yeah yeah Sorry. Well, good, yeah. Sorry, yeah. ladies and gentlemen, I'm trying to jump the gun. <laughs> you know. Yeah, so he was in a magazine and he, he was looking at, he was, he was going through magazines and and he, I saw him in there. He was like, I was like, oh, this is natural. He's like, yeah, it's natural. I'm like, because I don't want to take anything. I don't want to look big. You know, I just want to look good. He's like, yeah, you can get involved, but the diet is crazy. You know, you have to diet, you have to train, you have to be in the gym six times a week. For a I'm like, yeah, no problem. I don't mind. I'll give you a go. He's like, okay, all right. I'll give you a bit of guidance if you want to do it. I'm like, yeah, I'm ready to go. He's like, okay. Well, there's dates where you can compete. So the closest one. So the, the competition starts from north all the way down to Midlands all the way down to south. So Midlands for us, it was uh, St. Auburn. Yes, which I came see a few times there. Yeah, there yeah. you go, yeah. It was like, okay, there's this date, go and train. <laughs> when you're ready, we'll meet up on that date. So I was doing my own training. So how long ago, how long before that date was? Maybe it was like, maybe what, um, four to five months. Okay, you had time. <laughs> no. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, I looked okay and I had, um, you know, I, I, I liked bodybuilding since I was young, you know, when... Watching Commando, um, Sylvester Stallone, you know, yeah. yeah, you know, it's like oh, they look good, you know, they look strong, but I didn't want to take, you know, any gear or anything like that. So I'm like, oh yeah, this is a good goal for me. So I went to the competition. I saw my friend. He was like, oh, you're right, and blah blah blah. Weigh myself in. They said, are oh, you around? That time I was weighing like. 73 kilo or Jesus. 72 yeah so uh, they how, were like, oh, how old was you at this age okay <laughs> age is not not by the number yeah he's, he he looks younger <laughs> than he actually is ladies and gentlemen so, <laughs> so I, I was still uh on my 20s okay I was, I was around you know 20 23 73 at 20 in your 20s that's mad yeah so um so I, so you know so what happened you check in the way you in you give your name, they give you a badge number, then you go. This time I don't have a clue. What you doing? You know what I'm doing? This guy, is, he was like, oh, you good checking this, everything's fine, so we're going to go back, sit down, watch other people till you turn, your turn come. So I'm a middleweight. So there's females presentation, there's, there's middleweight, I mean, there's lightweight, then, and it's us. He said, oh, just take your time, you know, relax. Anyway. So I came with one of my friends, so we went to Boots. <laughs> So we went to Boots and we were just looking at stuff like, I was like, what do I need to eat? So this time I don't have a clue what bodybuilding is about, like what you need to eat about carbs and diet or anything like that. So we would like try to buy something to eat. I was chilling. Then I see like 20 missed calls from my friend. Yeah. It was like, oh, you need to get on stage now. They're calling you. I'm like, you told me to chill. <laughs> <laughs> so I didn't have no, uh, you know, trunk to go yeah. on stage. So... I just grabbed like a speedo, you know, <laughs> swimming trunk. Italian style. <laughs> so I went on stage, come in, everybody's already on stage. And I'm like, oh, I didn't, I don't have anything. So what happened when you go on studio, you need to have, you need to have either baby oil or, or, or tan. Okay. What, what happened when you, the light is so strong, you know, even though if you look good, it'll, it'll, gonna... make, you, it'll make you look flat. So it's, it's not going to project back like your definition of this thing. So I went on stage and uh, I remember I was posing and... So you just had dry skin? Yeah, just, normal. yeah, yeah. So I just look, just, I just look like this, like the wall. <laughs> and uh, I still look quite good. But just dry skin. Just, just dry skin, you know. You, you, you know when you're like that, your mom, you know, as, as black guys, your mom will beat you. It's like, go cream your body, go cream yourself, you know. <laughs> you know, you, 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 you know, you can, so I was on stage and... Um, all I keep here, one of the guys was like, you know, 
calling his boy. He's like, oh, just be that guy not with the speedo. It doesn't look good. <laughs> the guy with the speedo. <laughs> <laughs> that, that was an experience, you know. And you're taking that, you know, you try to do your pose because in bodybuilding we do posing. Yeah. Um, and he was like, oh, you, you're going to beat that guy. You know, he's got speedo. That guy with the speedo next to you. So I'm like, speedo? I'm like, oh, shit, it's my truck. Yeah, it's me. <laughs> but there was 12 people. I ended up placing seventh. Oh, wow. Yeah. So, so first time, uh -huh. ashy body. Yeah. Don't know what you're doing. Yeah. Came seventh. Yes. <laughs> but I, ever since i've known you i don't remember a time where you've been fat or anything like that you just you just don't get fat no i've been fat that was our that was definition that, of fats are different no 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 Francis, I've been like fat. me i walk from barbershop to kilburn station i had to stop <laughs> <laughs> that's a walk not even no running <laughs> that that came up with the experience no you know you you can't pour on body weight you can't pour on weight because if you're middleweight, you're meant to be around 78 kilo. Yeah, but I was 73. Can someone convert that in stones, please? 12 the, stones? No, 11 stones, I think. Around, around 11. So how much you weigh now? Um, 82 kg. So around just... 82 from, kg, that's what? 14 stones? 70, 71 kilos? Z yeah. Just a stone. Huh? Just a stone. One stone? No, oh, kg, into kg, stone. Yeah, kg. <laughs> Sorry, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> yeah? Sorry, ladies and gentlemen, <laughs> who just, you know, technical difficulties at the back, you know? 11 stones. 11, 11 stones, stone, yeah. Jesus. Yeah. And uh, what are you now, 80? 80, 82, 81, 82 kg. 81 kg into stone, please, sir. 13 30 stones. Stone, yeah. 30, mm. You're not 84, bro. Yeah? So are you 14 stones? Yeah, yeah, he's right. Yeah? That, I thought you'd be like 16 stones or something like that. <laughs> <laughs> so Francis, if you're 16, who are you? I'm I'm about Francis, 17. Francis is 25 years. <laughs> 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 there you go. <laughs> 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 Can you please make sure this part is edited out? <laughs> 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 Twelve yeah, and a half stones. Yeah. Jesus, Pops. Yeah. You're in good shape, Pops. You've always been like that. Yeah. What's your favorite body muscle to work out? I would say legs. You would say that. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> because in bodybuilding, legs are uh, everything. It, yeah, it adds up everything. You could have great upper upper body, but uh, legs. Yeah, legs. I see, I've seen some guys on stage with with. Yeah. And that, you know what is about? You know what is a. <laughs> <laughs> Be nice, Francis. No, Pops, you see those shows, yeah? I remember last time I came to see you was a while ago. Mm -hmm. There was this guy. He inspired me because he was fat. Like, <laughs> he was there. I remember. I remember Francis like, Pops, I can go on stage. I can, I can go. I can, you, this is the motivation for me. <laughs> yeah. Not even one piece of ab was showing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Nothing but you know, the com he was Good, confident. confident. And, yeah. I, yeah. and I was watching you. Like, cause you know you do that that lineup after. Mm -hmm. I'm like, is this guy like? Did someone? He must have lost a bet or something. <laughs> but yeah. No, well done. Yeah. <laughs> what What does it take, perhaps, to to achieve what you have achieved? What does it take? Um, it takes quite a lot. Um, I you know some of the bodybuilders now they have like a coach, you know, who train them and who teach them what to eat, um, what to do. It helps the process to go quicker. Uh, but I have to do everything by myself because I couldn't afford to pay a coach. I couldn't even afford to go to pay it for a membership. <laughs> so uh, for me, I just wanted to be, because I've been doing sports through my life and my main sports was judo. And during the injury, I couldn't get up, you know, I couldn't go on with it. And I think those times, like, you know, if you do judo, even professional level, you don't get paid that much. And, um, okay, judo fell. I'm not going to get another injury. I'm not going to get paid for it. I said, I said, at least let me do bodybuilding, which it helped all my injury I had when I was doing judo. My knee, I never seen, you know, a physio. Never went to the doctor for like 15 years. <laughs> so those are the motivation. Also the motivation, like 
you know, I started it and I see people become a British champion, you know, become a world champion. You type them on Google, you can actually see them there. You know, that's, that's history. You can't, you know, that's, that's generation of like my kids, grandkids and family, niece, nephews. And, you know, to leave my print. Right? That's <laughs> more than a print. <laughs> yeah. Jeez. When was and your it, first um, trophy? I don't know what st- what are we gonna call the statues, trophies, what what are we calling them? Uh, <laughs> huh? Yeah, this uh, um, the trophies just just in bodybuilding slightly different. Yeah, yeah, they're very intimidating. Yeah, they are. I feel fat. <laughs> <laughs> well, yeah. which one? Your first one is not here, actually, is it? Yeah, my first which one is here. Your first one. Um, I just need to check this one. No. Jesus. Yeah. So, like, ladies and gentlemen, <laughs> this is not light. Can you see? Do, do I get the whole? Is it? The, so, let me get this right. So, your first trophy is this. No, you mean my first trophy it was the one? No, that no, that one I got a medal. That was okay. that, that was my first time. But um, my first one is actually not here. But my first one it was in 2010. Yeah. Just to win on my class, just to be. Ah, just okay. to win on my class to qualify for the British Championship. So this is the British Championship one. No, that one is. Perhaps you just told me this was your first one. Now we we've, we've no, discovered no, no, no. this like the second one. No, no, I'm talking now. about. I thought you mean the to become a British champion. Oh, okay. okay. Yeah, 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 yeah. No, no. On my first one, I go, I go loads at home. I go maybe another ten. So this is your first British Championship. Yes. No. This this is. This one to qualify me to be, go to a British champion. Ah, yeah. So I need to win. So what, this is how it works. When you go to the show. Yeah. The first one, like I'm a middleweight. Yep. All right. So you, be, you, become a, you win your middleweight class. Yep. You, you, you just do what you do. <laughs> you distract me, mate. <laughs> so you become a middleweight. Uh, you win your class middleweight. Then you have to compete with... All the categories. Sorry, this is heavy, man. It is, it is Jesus. heavy. Jesus. Yeah. That's what you call working out at work, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> ah! Yes, yeah, sorry. Yeah, so then and then then after that is an overall winner. So which is you compete against the lightweight, the middleweight, the heavyweight, the over 40, the over 50, and the over 60. So the best are the best. It has, they have to win on that day. So don't think you go there, you win your class. You're like, oh yeah, I'm happy. No six year olds ever win the overall. <laughs> <laughs> please, please tell me a 60 year old does not come. I mean, not disrespect to all the 60 year olds out there, but please tell me a six year old would never win overall. I haven't seen much. Okay, good. Maybe when I'm not there, but when I'm there, I have to win it. <laughs> so. Um, yeah, so you win, you win the overall, so that's where you get the corner. The corner, the corner is not given to anyone. Jeez. So you have to be, you have to beat everyone on that day, like all the all everyone that been in the gym seven days a week. They die so hard for six weeks, twelve weeks. I, I don't know how long, but on that day, you have to beat everyone. You have to show that you're the best. How long would you say you need to train to win the corner? Oh, it took me about 10 years. No, no, we're saying, so rest it now. Let's say if you compete next year, is it like, do you start seven months before the, the competition or is it 12 months, 16 months? Well, that's that's different about me being natural. I can prepare now. I can prepare now within like three months. I can go and win it again. But you've always been like that. So let's, let's give you a realistic question. Realistic question. <laughs> How long would someone like me uh, like take you <laughs> to win the Conan? Okay, with my help, you can do it within like two years. Ladies and gentlemen, we stick to podcasts. <laughs> <laughs> By yourself, it will take you maybe another six years like me. It took me about six years to win. Yeah, so. So what, really what's your it. highest achievement of all of these? The highest one, which I won the World Championship, which was this one. The, this That one there, the smaller one. The one is carrying oh, yeah. the world championship. The world championship. World championship in 2014. Jesus. Yeah. Wow. So this one, 2014. So that was six years. No, three years after this one. And that's mean you go to the gym and train even harder. That's what I'm saying. Every time I win something, I wanted to win more. How many people 
enter for this one? The world championship is so imagine I become British champion, right? Which you was. That's the only way you get to this. Yeah. yeah. So they get the best out the best. So you get the French, you got the Germans, you got the Brazilians, you got the Americans. And those guys are hungry. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, those guys are hungry. And you told them to Yeah. It's coming home basically. When I went there, um, th- so this was this was Miami. So I was competing in Miami. Ladies and gentlemen, for those of you who don't know, right? <laughs> Miami is Pops' favorite city. <laughs> <laughs> That's another reason why I keep <laughs> I keep winning because you, you know the flight is free, you know uh, your accommodation is free. So if, they, if you want to go to Miami, ladies and gentlemen, just make yourself you look good. Well, you can't lose. You know? Yeah, prepare. How many times have you entered the World Championship? Four times. How many times you came out victorious? First time. So the first time you went there, you won. Yeah. <laughs> so. This 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 is the scenario. So I, so I'm 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 a middleweight. Yeah. All right. So do you remember, there's a British champion who's a heavyweight. This is we talk about my, you know, when before I become a professional. There's other heavyweight American bodyweight, um, heavyweight. There's other people that. So because there was enough middleweight, they put me with the big boys. Oh. Yeah. So you must have rubbed on extra baby oil. <laughs> <laughs> Said, I am not going dry to this fight. <laughs> 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 no, I said, I am No, you, you will not Francis, you, 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 you will know. You will know to on the day, yeah, in the middle of the show, they tell you you're gonna compete against the heavyweight. Oh, so you didn't know. No, so you, what, you what, know. what was that experience like? Not like obviously you just stepped. So, back. so, so this time I become a British champion. Yeah, not only in one federation, but four. Different federation. So you're just bullying everyone. No, I just, I'm like, you know, I look good. You know, this we, when I look, I, was like, I look good, and this is my opportunity for me. All my hard work paid off, and then I'm thinking, if I just do one, all my hard work won't show to other federation. So now I went to compete with other federation, and um, just for the fun of it. Yeah. Just, 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 to, just to show my hard work. You just came in like. Yeah. So this time when I when I said okay you you qualify for Miami you you can go so this time I was just happy I'm like okay I, I you know I don't care what happened you know what when I went to become a British champion you know that's okay for me I just gonna go to Miami <laughs> I never been before yeah. I just gonna go enjoy it. um so um in the middle of the the show so they're like okay all the middle ways they're gonna go in so I'm thinking oh, there might be a few so I don't mind I'm just gonna enjoy it. And they just told me, oh, there's not a lot of middleweight, it's only you, so you're going to compete. So before the middle job, did you win the middleweight? Then? No, 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 no. They, they, they come with me. This, this is like, like, you know, like, like, um, I'm like semi-pro. Okay. So, so you have to compete. Yeah, so I have to compete. They can't just give me. But uh, there's a funny thing, because I see people, they go to the competition, there's only them on their class, they make them win. What skin tone are they? <laughs> <laughs> That's why in bodybuilding sometimes they call it politics. Okay. Yeah. So, they're, they're, ladies and gentlemen, they didn't have enough baby oil. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> they, <laughs> <laughs> so um, I like okay. So what's what's gonna do? Like, oh, you just have to compete with the other people. I'm like, but they know my my weight. So this time I'm like maybe seventy five kilo, Jeez. and these guys they like from eighty kilo up. So imagine 75, so I go, I go about five kilo more to pour on <laughs> to compete against the heavy guys. And the heavy guys, they like... And they ripped. Yeah, so they know like, no, no like 82 kg. They are ripped. Yeah, they, they're big, they're big boys. So I'm like, oh, okay, I just kind of just... I'm in Miami, let's yeah, go. Yeah, Miami, let's go. Yeah, then, you know, um, in bodybuilding, sometimes some it's not how big you are. Is what you bring on stage, what physique they can see on stage, you know, balance is symmetry. So you can't have big arms, big chest, and you don't have legs. Or you can't have big legs, then you don't have back. You know, you can't have big chest, big arms, but you don't have abs. Everything counts. And um, I came out victorious. So if you read it again, it'll tell you what weight was it. Sorry, ladies and gentlemen, just trying to make sure. Jesus. Yep. Pops. 
congratulations. Literally. And then uh, and you've been in Miami a few times. Even yeah. s- even so, in some so, cases you've been there without even performing perhaps. So yeah, know. yeah. So so I said to train. Let's set to train. Yeah, so I, I won uh heavyweight. So I'm I won the heavyweight um championship and then I won the and I won the overall. And that's how I got my pro card. Oh, so you won it? Hold on. So you so you beat the big boys, mm-hmm. then you beat everyone that beat everyone. Yeah, on that day. But you got one. So did they give you one trophy or two trophies? No, they give me two trophies. I think I left that one yeah. at home. Yeah. Huh. So I was heavyweight. I won the heavyweight title. He was the man. Yeah. So I didn't want the middleweight. I won the heavyweight title. And everyone else. Yes. So then that's when I got my pro my pro card. What is that? That's that's the. Is that the so pro this card? is this is this is this is the pro comp division. So as we say, it's a pro division title. What, so what did that feel like? That moment. Take us back. Oh, to that it feeling. was it was it was good after ten years of competing. So you never gave up. Nah. So you achieved up. British, which was, and then you went to Miami, and you. When are you gonna do uh, the African one? <laughs> <laughs> No, that's the future. I'm looking you to, need to. You need yeah, to. Yeah, yeah. To. I need. I need. I need to um do like African Federation. I saw one guy in actually. I was, I'm I'm a fr- um you know like Facebook friends. There's yeah. a guy who does him for Cameroon. Yeah. Yeah. Because they're uh, built different there, and the yeah. and the baby oil shines more. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So. Yeah. So um you know just it just it's just a process you have to go through and uh, no, all this stuff. Yeah. Well done. T- talk us through the poses. How hard is it to get that pose? Because I've seen you do those poses once, and and I tried like the cobra when you do the cobra one, like, your <laughs> yeah. back like spread. Yeah, yeah, it's spread. Yeah, yeah. When I try that, mm-hmm. the back don't spread. My belly just pops <laughs> out. <so I> <laughs> <laughs> literally because like, like when you do it like literally ladies his back like just comes alive like yeah oh, man i tried like i can do this yeah <laughs> the belly's coming up <laughs> yeah how hard is it for the poses because it is it is a yeah it, is it a, took me it took me it took me i uh, say maybe like eight years to master the posing because some pose when you do it makes you look smaller and and it had your 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 um your physique won't show actually it, even if you're big it, it makes you look smaller that's why i end up to be some of the heavyweight because of my posing so i make i make myself um it, we is in bodybuilding calling it an illusion so you did a houdini on that yeah the african <laughs> houdini ladies and gentlemen yeah. voila <laughs> voila so it's like if i have a big muscle right so if i do this yeah. on stage you won't see it you you just see it like the arm but in professional level you go like this you see the the finish of the bottom <laughs> yeah <laughs> watch this if i do that right you see that <laughs> nothing there you go <laughs> <laughs> still so, nothing but hey yeah yeah so that's a big so, arm perhaps no it's okay don't it's, ever get in okay. one the headlock yeah it's, it's it's okay so so if i do that yeah so if i compete against the heavyweight i need to make it look bigger so what I do, I transition that way. So Blah. that look Jesus. bigger than this one. It looks smaller. You should get arrested for that. <laughs> <laughs> so all these little tricks. So when I pose like that, I look. It looks more long and bigger. So that's like sorcery. You shouldn't be a late guy, <laughs> judges. Are at the, that's sorcery. Oh, let me see what happens. I see the f- but mine. The fat comes out. Yeah. Why yeah. is the fat coming out? <laughs> Yeah, so all these little tricks. So yeah, yeah you, it takes time to learn to learn about it, to to learn. And what's the eating like? Because that's that's another part that is is, is all right. Tough. Um, yeah, the eating. So it depends on the body. It depends what you be putting in the gym. It depends how big you wanna go. It depends, you know, if you you wanna lose more weight. You know, are you looking yourself in the mirror? Um, and I it's, since I be competing, I never do like measure my body fat. So from what I can see in the mirror, what I need to improve and stuff. So I, I, you know, that's that's more important to me. A lot of people they weigh themselves; they want to drop the weight to certain certain level. And uh, I'm I'm lucky; I don't need to do that. So you're blessed. Yeah, and also I never wanted to look big. Just want to look sexy. 
<laughs> Which you do look sexy in this. Listen, no homo, you know, pause. The man, uh, this is what we men do. We, we as men, we don't give other men enough credit because we're too, like, yeah, you yeah, look good. True. Like, yeah, yeah. I'm not going to lie. Like, yeah, yeah. I wish I had muscles like you, so mm-hmm. you do look sexy. Mm-hmm. Pause. No homo, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> the man looks sexy. I'm going to give him his credit. Yeah. And you do, uh, even I, I've seen, like, like his guys, la- ladies, not guys, if you see this man without a shirt off, just make sure you sing or something like that. Cause like you you look like your abs and your chest were just stuck on. You like mm. it was made like that. Yeah. And I can see what you mean. And yeah. I, I, I've been trying for over a decade and I'm still <laughs> I'm still I'm still not there. <laughs> Yeah, so it, it depends. Like me, if, if it depends on the look. So if, if I want to look big, I want to put on weight to compete against the heavyweight. That's when my diet changed. That's why I have to eat three times, four times a week. And I can't be bothered to do that. Eat three times a week? No, oh no. Three, so not a week, a day. Okay. So you need to, so for me, if I want to put on weight, I want to look heavy, I want to look big. I need to eat at least five times a day. How many times a day do you eat normally? Me? Yeah, I just do three breakfast, lunch, and one big dinner, and that's it. You don't snack in between? Not really. If if I come across snack, I'll snack, but it's not like I have to do it. Okay, are you strict yeah. with what you eat? Is it like less carbs, not carbs? Because you train hard in the gym, so does that allow yeah. you to eat what you want? Yeah, eat? yeah, yeah. So that give me that allow me to eat what I want. You know, because I need I need the carbs, I need the energy to keep me going. If I don't eat like a heavy food i don't eat more i just gonna be tired so i won't be even able to perform in the gym the next day so i do it african style heavy heavy that heavy. fufu banco <laughs> pounded yam. yeah yes hey. yeah no perhaps yeah, heavy stuff so that keeps me going for the day and the day after so <laughs> <laughs> and one time i try a diet yeah. like a bodybuilding diet um i meant to try for maybe Three, four weeks before I go on stage. Yeah. I only done five days. I was too lean. I was like, literally. Yeah, literally. I was like too lean. And my body fat dropped to like 2% body fat. Then I have to eat. <laughs> so yeah. talk us through the stages of, uh, let's say we want to know the stages of becoming a bodybuilder. Let's say someone like me wants to become a bodybuilder. What are the stages? What's the first thing I do, the second, third, fourth, fifth, all the way to getting... I think I think world champions out my way. Let's go overall winner. What, okay. what, what would the steps be? Um the steps the steps is first of all, we have to look at your body type. Fat. Body type. Uh, uh, you're fat. fat. <laughs> <laughs> and then the main thing you have to focus on cardio. Uh for me, core is everything. Core and legs is everything. Like for body for me as a bodybuilder. Um I had I would say I had the best abs in the in the federation. Even the presenter was like, "It's go like a, a washboard." Yeah, your abs. your abs are serious. Yeah. Um, so when you have a, a and also abs and it makes your weight look smaller and then it makes the rest of the body look bigger. So um, so someone like you will put you on the cardio. <laughs> 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 yeah, lots of cardio, lots of cardio, lots of core work, you know, then we'll set you some program to to improve your shoulder, your chest, your back and the rest of it. Um someone like my guy behind the scene. So someone like Rasta, his his body is different. So body type what, skinny. Body type <laughs> <laughs> body type fat, body type skinny. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so his his training is gonna be totally different. Less cardio, more food, and train like heavy, and to build the muscle and also homework. Homework. Yeah, it's, it's you know a lot of people they train, they go home and relax. No, when you get home, you there's a homework to do. What's the homework? <laughs> Well, watch Conan. <laughs> I'll take that. Yeah. No, that's when you start your belly start getting big again. Yeah, that's true. You yeah. can watch Conan standing up. <laughs> yeah, you'll be one of those people you watch the movie, you feel like you're getting slimmer <laughs> and eating burger. <laughs> or you watch me training, it's like oh, I can feel the energy passing through. Yeah. Yeah, then you go home, there's other parts you have to do, you have to maintain it, make sure it stays solid all the way to the way. That's, that's what make me 
win. That's what make me keep winning. Would you say getting it or maintaining it? Which one's harder? Maintaining it. You know, I've I've been doing it for ten years and I'm still in shape. Yeah, you so after you, after after yeah. fifteen years, I can like you know, I can I can train for four weeks and ready to compete. Maybe come like fourth in four weeks. Miami, ten years from <laughs> coming for you, Miami. I'm coming for you. Now, yes. what advice would you give out there to any of the young young ones or even um, people who are trying to achieve what you've achieved? If you're in good shape, just keep doing what you're doing. Um, if you want to change, you want to progress. Um, you know, uh, back in the day, I didn't have internet. <laughs> I didn't have uh, I couldn't I didn't have YouTube and there wasn't a lot of um like promotion like now you know a lot of people now you can go on you go Instagram you go you know you, you go the technique I I used to have my technique I had to read through a book so let's say if let's say if you want to you want you you want to build shoulders all right so you go uh, you can you can go on Instagram you can go on Facebook you can go on YouTube um but at the same time you have to do was your body you know your body react to so you don't just do any exercise uh, that's one thing you, the, the last thing you want to do just copy something and start doing it end up having an injury and uh you you might not end up you know get what you want so it, it's a slow progress you know take your time build it up slowly uh pick exercise that work with your body like certain things with my body it doesn't agree so I have to have to adapt different way. So all these little things you have to look out for, and and certain things you have to just talk to a professional, talk to someone like me, talk to other other people that been in the, in, in in the game. So Cause yeah. yeah, so and then don't give up, you know. The, even even if you have an injury, there's always other ways you can still build your muscle. Yeah. Which that's how you started through a, through yeah. a knee injury. Mm-hmm. Ten years later, yeah. look what you achieved. And uh-huh. And you also took it further. Now you train yeah. others. You're yeah. a trainer now. Yeah, yeah, I'm a trainer now. So I'm, I'm a personal trainer. Having a bad knee, couldn't walk on it. Um, couldn't even like, uh, you know, just squat with like five kilo. End up doing like 160 kg on my back, squatting with it. It bought something good out of me. So there you go, ladies and gentlemen. If you feel mm. like you're injured, you're thinking it's one door's closed, but actually other doors have opened, but you just have mm. to go for it. I mean, look at mm. me. I have no injury. I still can't squat with 5 kg. So don't be like me. Um, no, nah, but do, do you enjoy what you do? Or is it, yes. is it hard work? Because you, you, you alluded to earlier, it's not easy, but mm-hmm. do you enjoy what you do? Because I think it's key that people find something that they enjoy what mm-hmm. they do mm-hmm. um if i did enjoy it i wouldn't carry on um you know it is it, hard it's painful but the result after that um it's just as i said i couldn't squat with five kilo i hand them from five to 20 20 to 60 60 to 80 you know when you see the progress you start to enjoy it mm-hmm. to 100 120 100 150 160 170 you know we're just weighing around 78 kilo to squat that much like twice your body twice your body weight and then some and then some yeah, <laughs> <geez. laughs> i can you know like that you know i can you know enjoy that if if we go back to um your journey everything you've done or you've achieved or the sacrifice you made any regrets no there's there's no regret there's no regret um it's, it's a good achievement. I see other people. So, I, so apart from this being doing natural, I think there's a, there's a few trophies I go here. Yeah, the one, the one in the front. The, 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 the guy there. Yeah. So if you read it, it say NAC. Yeah. Yeah. NAC UK Open 2013 overall Mr. Athletic winner. Yeah. So what does NAC mean? So NAC is a is an open show. So anyone can enter that. Yeah, you know, and you if you you're on other substance and all these things, you can you can just enter. So the what show. what made you decide to enter a, a NSC competition that anyone can enter? I was looking good. <laughs> <laughs> And there's proof. And there's proof. I done the no Francis. I look at myself. I say, "Cheese." <laughs> <laughs> I 
I like cheese. I look good. And this time I was winning. You know, yeah. all my hard work pays off. I had good calf, I had good quads, good hamstring, abs. Abs, forget about that. I've been Mr. Abs for a long time. I had a good back. I was, you know, when this is symmetry, I had the symmetry. Is there is there age to this? Is there a... Um, uh, no, age is just a number, yeah. man. You know, when those... I, when you're young, you heard people say age is just a number. Yeah. And people tell you, you only get old. You only get old when you stop playing. Yeah. Yeah. You know, age, age is just a number. And you're yeah. still playing, perhaps. Jesus. Yeah. yeah. Jesus. <laughs> yeah. I try. I try. I, I'm like, the, so when I done all my achievement, COVID came and I'm like, uh, you know, uh, you know, I, I still look good. I can chill. And what they say when you stop playing, <laughs> I didn't stop playing. Then I didn't look that great. I looked okay. You looked okay. I looked okay. I'll be happy okay. <laughs> <laughs> I'll be happy okay. I'll take okay. Like, okay. And ladies and gentlemen, I'm not going to lie. I'm not going to lie. I'll take okay. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> for other people, there's like, no, you still look good. But for yeah. me, with it, when you reach certain level, you know yourself. I'm not looking. Yeah. So, as they say, you get only get older when you stop playing. So, I went back in the gym and, and start training again. You did your thing. Yeah, I'm, I'm still doing mine. Yes. <laughs> I, I'm, I don't think I'm um, ready to train with you, but I've started, as you can tell. And it's not all fat, ladies and gentlemen. It's coming, you know? Yeah. Poo! Poo! <laughs> oh, oh, well, okay, no, maybe we shouldn't do that because the jingle, jingle comes out. <laughs> We're trying to hide the jingle, jingle. Yeah, so I went to the open show. You know, there was bigger guys on gear. And um, ladies and gentlemen, when he say gear, he doesn't. It's it drugs, substance. but not that kind of. Um, not that kind <laughs> no, of. Yeah, gear. yeah. <laughs> Just carry. Who, know, yeah. who knows? Actually? Yeah, who yeah, knows? yeah. Basically, they don't. They don't test you. Yeah. you. You can do. They no. They won't test you. They won't know. No, because I hear rumors people actually before they go on stage they do that and they just hype, you know. Yeah. Yeah. Because is um, you know, uh, as any competitor knows, when you go to certain show, sometimes your heart be in different level because you don't know if you're gonna win, yeah. you don't know who's on stage, you don't know that you're gonna compete against against. So even judo, you know, when I was to compete judo, I I used to get, you know, you you go you go to fight. You don't feel your legs. You don't feel your. You don't feel your arms. You don't feel the grip. You don't feel nothing. You're numb. Also, you feel I'm like well, what's going on until someone do something to you. Then you're like, oh, I need to protect myself. Though, you know, so this person don't throw me down. Talk about judo. So I, my my older brother uh, told me something about um, uh, meditation. Yeah, and uh, and there's a difference. Someone who done like a few. I, I used to do it for like a minute or so. You do a meditation. You go on. You go to compete. You, you know, if they call you, go. You go on the mat. You know, to start fight, and um, that makes a lot of difference. Okay. You're quite relaxed. You kind of know what you're doing. Then someone who just walked in and tried to fight, and uh, I felt the difference when I used to do, do a little meditation, and someone just came to fight, and I used to, I used to beat them easily. So that's that's uh, another thing that I learned through, through life. Hold on, Pax. <laughs> six pack, six pack. <laughs> <laughs> Don't worry, Francis. With that one, you have to walk for it. <laughs> that's a, that's a what? <laughs> you have to work hard for that. <laughs> you have to work in the gym. You have to go home, do your homework. <laughs> yeah. So when I say homework, you have to go home and do more training. Yeah. One of the guy used to see me on stage doing natural, and he went on gear. Because of you? No, he just decided because we we you know we when you go to a gym you go to bodybuilding like bodybuilding definitely bodybuilding gym. There's always people try to offer you something. Yeah. What go through your mind is like, oh, it's so hard. You know, I, I see other people pushing heavier. I see other pe people looking good, and they're like, oh, you look okay, but if you take this, you're gonna look even better. So this what happened to this guy, and you know, I this time I I, I won my class before i done the overall and the guy said to me oh i remember you uh you used to do mpa i'm like oh um yeah i do mpa he said you probably don't remember me but i used to, i competed with you before and you beat me all the time <laughs> <laughs> but i've been beaten for 10 years <laughs> 
because of you, I went on gear. <laughs> yeah, so he went on gear. Um, so he used to have a small, yeah, the weight. They call yeah. it the embodiment. They call it V tape. Yeah, and because they were taking gear, so he's so, so his he's, abs. He's got the Francis tape now. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So even though he had six pack, but the middle section is is wider. Yeah. It was like that's the only regret for him going and. So can you once you go on gear, there's no going back. You you can go back. There's other federations that offer like five years. You have okay. to stop, and then then you can go back. But it's it's not the same. Do you damage your body, or can your body after five years flush out all the gear? I don't know why they do that. I don't want to know. You all I know, I, I I done my bit. You, I've said you're on gear, you're natural, you're a vegan, you're a vegetarian, you're a pescatarian. Yeah, I'm I'm taking the trophy home. Yes, oh, and that's you, when it, when it comes back to regret, as you said. Yeah, um, that's that's the only time I heard one person saying they they regret it, taking gear. But for me, um, for me it wasn't for money because there's not a lot of money on this. It's a platform that helps you. Let's say you want to become a fitness instructor, you want to become uh, a PT, you want to open your own gym, you know, it gives you all the knowledge that you need to know to make money. But for me, um, I just wanted to leave something behind. Um, I'm on Google. You know, if, if, if I'm not here, my kids have kids, great grandkids, they, you know, at least I leave a you know, legacy. Some, a legacy behind. Yeah. Natural or natural. Natural or natural, yeah. What is it like when you're on stage? What's that feeling like? The nerves, the excitement, the the pressure, the mm. lights. Obviously, yeah. the baby oil is glistening. But what is it like mentally? First of all, is your people. Mm. They expect something, yeah. <laughs> yep. And you think that I need to win. Then you see one guy; it looks bigger than you. They have more muscle. You're thinking, damn, I'm gonna win today. Who's in your class? Because you don't know. Nobody knows it. And also, they, if there's a face of person who beat you before, <laughs> which is most time is you. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so you're like, ah, he's gonna compete today. Am I gonna win? Am I done enough work? All these things it goes into you, and you know, you think you know. And sometimes it can make you forget your presentation on on stage because you start looking at the other person who beat you before. You start thinking, is he looking good because he poses like this? Because it, it does, because he's doing this, and you start doing it, but it doesn't work in your body. It works only on you. All these little things, and like, oh, if I come second, uh, you know. And there's 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 a time where so when after like I win because I used to compete mostly like in St Albans, and uh, so it's not secular. So the first stop is the barber shop in Kilburn. Yeah, yeah. So they're like, oh, have you won? I'm like, no, second place. Oh. But congratulations, though congratulations, you know they, they, you know you get that, but you know they want you to become first, you know like you yeah. set the bar, yeah, you set the bar, yeah. yeah. <laughs> so uh, that's that's that, that's the only thing. But after a while, and it's like okay, I've done this for long now. It become more natural, you know. You you just know, okay, I go on stage, I do this, I do that, you know, win. There's even there's even certain show I never warmed up. Jesus, yeah. There's that. My friend's like, oh, you you gonna warm up? I'm like, no. Nah. Nah. Pops just pull out the baby oil. Yeah. <laughs> First, it's no baby oil, it's tan. So you use tan as well? Yeah. So it's the tan oil thing? No, it's, it's tan. The spray? Yeah, the spray. The, yeah, you, you know, rub it on yourself. You rub it on yourself, okay. yeah. yeah. Don't think because you, you know, you, you're dark skin, you're, you just go on stage like that. <laughs> I was just going to go buy a tub of baby oil. <laughs> <laughs> no it, it Johnson and Johnson You're not having my money anymore <laughs> Yeah No yeah. it doesn't work like that. That, that That's that's when I When I started You know uh, That's why I used to think Ah oh, you know I'm, My skin is dark and go the, With baby oil But it doesn't work like that And also um, One thing I learned about competition There was one time I was training in um, Virgin Active uh, Another brother used to train there And when one time I won He was like Oh you won the competition I'm like yeah And he was like oh, We we can just go on stage and win no, no, it's it's all hard work, you know. And if you check on the history, natural bodybuilding also in the winning game, and it, the color doesn't matter. Yeah, it's what you bring on stage. Well, you yeah. should have told this brother go and show me next <laughs> next competition in six yeah. months. Show me. So, so you think because your you your your skin is darker, you can just put baby oil and win and that? Damn, so, baby yeah. oil. I actually like that feeling. I know. Like, Damn, baby. <laughs> <laughs> no, Johnson Johnson, <laughs> it's gonna make you win. <laughs> Pops, 
What yes. I want to know, so how we close this show is you look into that camera mm-hmm. and you close it however you want to. You know, give advice, talk, whatever. It's your show. You close it how you want to watch. I don't know. Whatever you do, running, badminton, any other, f- you know, um, physical stuff you do, even like gardening, you know, even like just walk to um, to Tesco with bags, shopping bags, you know, is really important, you know, just in your health in general, you know, forget about winning trophy, forget about these things, be active, be active. That's when the age it become, it doesn't matter for you. I, I won't say my age. <laughs> so I leave everyone to guess my age. Um, yeah. So age is nothing but a number. If you stop being active, that's when you start counting your age and you will feel it. You'll feel it. Um, you might be young now, but when you reach my age, <laughs> When you reach my age, you will feel it. Go to the gym. If you don't know what you're doing, ask for advice. There's always, um, it might not be a professional advice, but there's always people on the gym floor and that started, they know the basics. Um, everything starts from the basics. And uh, Try not to jump the rope. Don't try not to go from one to five. You know, if you want to be active for a long time, you want to stay younger, start from one, two, three, four, and five. If you stop from five, you can go back to four. If you stop at four, you can go back to three. If you go back to three, you go to one, then you go you go to two, then you go to one. But if you start from one to five, when you fall from five, you go back to one, then zero. Then you don't have anything, you're back to square one. So um, that's the best advice for me. Do your running, do your football, keep yourself active, professional. It's like me, Francis, I knew him from time. He's got a studio now. I can't go... Like, oh, let me just open a studio and have cameras there. You know, I'll come to Francis. I say, Francis, oh, how do you start? What do you need to buy first? Do you have to have a, you have to have a script? Do you have to do this? Do you have to have people behind you? You need to buy a laptop. If I just say, oh, let me get a studio, get camera and start shooting. <laughs> good <laughs> <You know>? luck. <laughs> yeah, good luck. You know, you know, you, you need to have money behind it. You need to, you know how much you spend. You know, you, you need to have something, you know, solid to start with. So it's the same with your body. It's the same in life in general, you know. Um, that's all the advice I can give. If you need help in terms of bodybuilding, in terms of even just basic day-to-day life in general, um, you know, if you want to keep yourself active, I'm here. Um, I can give free advice. And also, I'm a personal trainer. If you want to be serious, if you just want to look fit, you just, you know, look or just be um, just fit for yourself. Don't look at other people, which the way I did. I didn't look at other people, say, that guy is big, let me get bigger. Or I look, this guy is smaller, let me get smaller. You know, just, just if you just want to be yourself, just be active. You know, you don't have to look certain way. I'm here to help. And um, also I'll be launching um, a fitness page soon. Um, just just basic exercise weekend. It's just three exercises to do. And um, like just, you can do that. You can do three on a Monday, three different exercises on, on Tuesday, you know, just, just to help my community a little bit. Um, and those one they can't afford to pay for a gym, <laughs> which it comes back to me when I was young, I couldn't afford to pay for a membership. Um, having maybe let's say seventy pound every month coming out of your you know bank account, you don't have a proper job and all this thing. So um, yeah, so as soon as I'm ready to launch that, I'll come back to Francis again. Yes, ladies yes. and gentlemen, yeah, by then, a, a, by, <laughs> yeah, the fat will be gone. <laughs> But then hopefully Francis, he can watch my page as well. Then we can time him for six so we can see. <laughs> <laughs> and see the difference. Yeah. Remember, I've trained with this man before. <laughs> no, no. This, 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 one, this one will be, it'll be for like beginners. Yes. I'm yeah, okay. yeah. Not to my level. Yeah. When you were training with me, I was hungry. Yeah, you, you, no, you was. I was hungry to become a British champion. If you be competing for seven years, you get beaten, beaten, beaten. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. You know, it makes you want it more. Some people, I, I, I know people that that starting, they actually gave up. They're like, oh yeah, okay, okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. There's, there's, um, there's, um, there's friends that I knew. We start at the same time. Every time they become second, they're like, I've been doing it for five years. That's enough for me now. 
No, no, well done to you, pups. Yeah, well thanks. done to you, pups. Ladies and gentlemen, there you have it. And by the way, when he said walk with bags from Tesco's or Twitter, he didn't mean empty bags <laughs> or shopping. Let's just clarify. Leave I, your car at home. <laughs> I don't want to see people walking with empty bags saying, but I've said I should walk with bags. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, there you have it. Till next time, love, peace, and happiness. Yes. Thank you. Thank you guys. Francesco. Yes, wow. wow. <laughs>